This video is called My Confusion is Perpetually Before Me. This is um, a prophecy of David in the Psalms. You know, I've already made my video Davidic prophecies I have fulfilled. Which is one of the reasons in me, sick, fucked up mind, why I think I'm Jesus. And, uh, you know, it's just, for years, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I feel like a little baby lost in the jungle or something. Like, I have no clue what is going on. My life is so weird. I remember when I had the first hell experience in 2012. And I thought I'd died of going to hell. I was on the ward, there were people saying, like, you're Jesus, you entered Mary, and like that. Saying, um, one bloke said, what about Revelation? Tom, what about Alpha and Omega? And all that. It was like I was Jesus and I'd failed everyone. And, uh, since then I've had so many fucking weird experiences. Literally that prophecy applies to me. My confusion is perpetually before me. I can't remember which verse it is. I'm sorry, I'm I'm pretty useless with that sort of stuff. Well, it's a big good footnote to a university. But it's, even, it's got even more weird now because um, for years I've been convinced that my downstairs neighbour is Lucifer, right? Um, the devil. But I was fucking down there earlier. I mean, if you fagged with him and... Uh, okay, no, he just, just seemed like a totally normal bloke and a, a quite nice one at that, so... Oh, for the life of me, believe he's a devil. That's what me made to believe. Uh, that's what turned me against him in the first place. You know, those Satan bollocks. But he's actually a really nice lad. Lovely lad, Chris Drew. And so I don't understand this. It's so fucking weird. I think I did see the devil, actually. The real devil. I mean, he wouldn't be living in a council for anyway, would he? He'd be living in a mansion. I remember I did see the devil in uh, 2015. I was lying in my bed and uh, he fucking hovered above me and uh, he was laughing at me. And uh, you know, it's just a bit weird. You know? But um, I remember I put Carlos Perdomo on. I made a video of so I love Carlos Perdomo. I love him still. You know? And uh, I remember, like, fucking, uh, I put it on, and I heard this voice go, ah! Mind you, I've heard a lot of voices over the years. And I thought at the time, it was because Carlos Perdomo was like a wheat, true child of God. That I've been searching for for years, because people are so irreligious. Well, man, I'm the most irreligious bloke ever, to be fair. Get pissed all the time. Anyway, so, um, you know, I heard this voice go like, ah, it was, um, on that side of the room. And I don't know what that's going I mean, my mate Steve, when I talk to my mate Steve, he's always like, yeah, well, it's gang stalking. And the government apparently got these mega computers that fucking... Control reality, so we're all fucked, basically. And like, you can even control what happens to you after you die, apparently. You know? I don't fucking believe that. I believe the world is in the hands of Jesus Christ. The fucking best bloke who ever lived. Jesus. I've always looked up to Jesus my whole life. And I think Jesus was a great bloke. And I would like the world to be in the hands of Jesus. And I always said this, you know. When I believed in this Islamic shit for many years, I fucked my head up. And the Dajjal, who I thought I was. Which is to say, if I'm going to die in burning hell, I want Jesus to judge me, not Allah. Because from all my research of Islam, I've always thought Allah was a total asshole. And Muhammad was such a horrible person. But Jesus, you're the Lamb of God. Such a beautiful man. On the cross, if it's true, we don't know. But on the cross saying, forgive them, Father, they know not what they're doing. Who on earth could accomplish that level of greatness? 
It's unreal. To be tortured that much and yet to say forgive. Beautiful. So I've always loved Jesus. And uh, I beg you, Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. Because I can't take this fucking confusion anymore. I mean, no one's more confused than me. I don't even know where I come from. I don't even know my name or my nationality. I don't know anything. I don't know what's going on half the time. All this weird shit in my life. I don't know who to trust. You know, it's just, it's just fucking ridiculous. And they keep saying I'm ridiculous, but if, if you're a product of ridiculous circumstances, ludicrously un, unintelligible, ununderstandable circumstances, you are going to be ridiculous. You know? I just want to say, Jesus, light of the world, King of Kings, just fucking, just fucking send your wondrous love over me. Embrace me like a little child you, who's lost from his mum in the middle of nowhere. Just fucking embrace me, Jesus. So I don't have to drink all the time. Embrace me in your loving arms and guide me on that special narrow path that leads leads to heaven. Jesus, please. Give me some strength here. I love you so much. I remember watching Pasolini's Gospel according to St. Matthew. When I watched the crucifixion, I cried like a baby. You know? I cried my eyes out. I was thinking, this is the greatest person I've ever known. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And I guess that's why for many years I thought I was him. Because I was inspired to be something noble and righteous, but I'm a slob and a pig. I was inspired to be something lofty, beautiful and pure, like Jesus, who never sinned. He was the perfect man. And the only one worthy to hold the throne of our Lord as Shem. Because that's the thing with these other religions. Their gods are not worthy. They didn't come to earth. They didn't live a perfect life, despite all the temptations of life, and they weren't crucified. It's the crucifixion that makes Christianity so beautiful. This idea that God would actually pour out himself for everyone and be humiliated for everyone because of his profound love for his creatures. It's just, oh, I love Christianity. I don't know if I'm a Catholic or a Protestant. My family is Lutheran, pretty much. Well, I'd say, on my mum's side, Lutheran, on my dad's side, so Presbyterian, Church of England. Um, so I come from Christian stock, but uh, my uncle used to say when he drive me to uh, Selfos in Iceland, the mushroom soup, he'd always say, Requiem, Mozart's Requiem, is the only thing I listen to. So they're fairly... Pious people, I suppose. Well, I'm not really. Well, fairly. I don't know if they believe to the extreme that I do. Like, I literally believe every word of the Bible. But I think it's a consolation to have a book you can believe in and trust in. And I've always loved Jehovah. I've had such difficulty with Allah. I mean, like, trying to be a Muslim all those times. It's just... Fucking waste of time and um, yeah. Jehovah, he always, I don't know, when I was always in the lowest pits of um, sadness and misery, it was always Jehovah that brought me out of it. I have an affinity for Jehovah. Who the fuck knows? I mean, who the fuck cares? This is a bloody long video and uh, kudos to you if you watch it. Ha <laughs> ha.